Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix your Bluetooth if it's not working on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. There are several different methods that I'm gonna go through that will definitely get your Bluetooth working if you're having trouble connecting to, say, a speaker or headphones, or if it keeps cutting out in your car or something like that. I'll walk you through all of those steps to connect and get it working. Now, the very first thing that we'll want to do is swipe down from the top right. And you can see a little Bluetooth icon there and it is highlighted in blue. If it's not, if it's grayed out like this, then your Bluetooth is not turned on and you'll want to turn it on. And even if it's on, you might want to toggle it off and then on again, just to kind of reset that Bluetooth. Now, the next thing that you can do once we've done that is to head into our settings. And then you can see uh, towards the top right under Wi-Fi here is Bluetooth. We're going to tap on Bluetooth and you can see Bluetooth is turned on. There's a little toggle with it turned on. I'm going to turn it off again and then wait a few seconds and then turn it back on. This kind of resets the Bluetooth on your iPhone itself. And you can go through this step. Now, if it shows up under my devices, one of the connections that you wanna make or the speaker or headphones or whatever, tap on that and try to reconnect to that Bluetooth device. If you're unable to connect or it's not working, you can always tap the I right next to it. And then you can tap forget this device. So if you tap forget this device, it will remove that Bluetooth device from your iPhone and when you go to reconnect to it next time, it'll kind of reset all of those connections. And sometimes that'll help if your Bluetooth wasn't working properly beforehand. So go through the steps to reconnect to your uh, Bluetooth device after you've forgotten it. The next thing that we'll want to do is to scroll down and go to general here and then software update. And then go through the steps if you haven't updated your software to the latest iOS 15, and currently it's at 15.4.1. Make sure you update it to the latest version so that potentially if there are any Bluetooth kind of bugs, then they're all taken care of and it's not an issue anymore. So update your software to get to the latest version. The next thing that you can do is let's get out here and tap and hold the power and the volume up button here and you will get an option to slide to power off. So you can power off your iPhone and restart it. And sometimes this helps to clear any kind of bugs or cache and helps to kind of reset that Bluetooth connection. So fully restart your iPhone so that you can reconnect to the Bluetooth and hopefully at that point it's working better. Once you go through all of these steps, the next thing that I'll want you to do is to try a different Bluetooth connection. So say if you're trying to connect to a certain pair of headphones, try to use a different set of headphones or a computer or a speaker or something, connect with Bluetooth to that other device and test and make sure that it's working. If it's working perfectly fine, then you know that there are no issues of the Bluetooth on your iPhone itself. However, if you connect to a different device and it's still not working very well, potentially there's an issue with the Bluetooth on your iPhone and you need to take it into Apple and have them run diagnostics and potentially have them repair and fix your broken iPhone. Now, if it does work on a different device, potentially whatever you're trying to connect with that's not working, the Bluetooth on that device is having issues because keep in mind, Bluetooth is a two-way street your iPhone is connecting to another device, but potentially the issue isn't with your iPhone, it's with that other device like a headphones or something. So sometimes they have certain buttons or toggles that will you know, tell that device, that speaker, that headphone to connect to your Bluetooth. So maybe you have to read the manual and press a certain button and hold it or something like that to connect it back to your iPhone. Or maybe there's just an issue with the Bluetooth in that other device and that needs to be repaired or fixed or you might need to replace it with a new device. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.